Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Walz went head-to-head -head overnight in what felt like a collectively calm, although eerie, debate ahead of the November 5th U.S. presidential election. The debate arguably revealed much less tension than that of our first evening with Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, but it still managed to highlight their indifference on a range of topics. Here's some of the key takeaways from the much-anticipated 90-minute session. As expected, the night kicked off with some heavy-hitting topics, this time about tensions in the Middle East, but both turned to the blame game, taking digs at their presidential counterparts. Walls, who many expected to dominate the stage, pivoted to critique Trump's four-year tenure in office, saying that steady leadership is what the world needs. Vance, on the other hand, said a second Trump administration would support Israel's decision on the matter after going into description of his own personal biography. Israel's ability to be able to defend itself is absolutely fundamental. Getting its uh, hostages back, fundamental, and ending the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. It is up to Israel what they think they need to do to keep their country safe, and we should support our, our allies wherever they are when they're fighting the bad guys. I think that's the right approach to take with the Israel question. The same went for abortion, climate change, immigration, and of course the much expected arguments over whether Trump's claims about migrants eating pets was true, or if Vance even likes Donald Trump in the first place. Now, Governor Waltz broke, brought up the community of Springfield, and he's very worried about the things that I've said in Springfield. Look, in Springfield, Ohio, and in communities all across this country, you've got schools that are overwhelmed, you've got hospitals that are overwhelmed, you've got housing that is totally unaffordable because we brought in millions of illegal immigrants to compete with Americans for scarce homes. We could come together and solve this if we didn't let Donald Trump continue to make it an issue. And the consequences in Springfield were the governor had to send state law enforcement to escort kindergartners to school. I believe Senator Vance wants to solve this, but by standing with Donald Trump and not working together to find a solution, it becomes a talking point. Last night might just suffer the fate of most vice presidential debates. Soon to be forgotten, but if there was any real winner of the night, it might just be America's political parties proving that a civilized conversation is possible. Here at City AM, we'd like to know who do you think won the VP debate? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to City AM for more U.S. election coverage.